President Obama hosted a science fair at the White House today. He also pledged his support to help kids get excited about science. Today I'm pleased to announce $240 million in new contributions from businesses, from schools, from foundations across the country to help kids learn in these STEM fields. STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. The president got a look at 35 projects from student teams from across the country who won various competitions. One of those students showing off a project at the White House is from right here in the Bay Area. New at 6, KPX 5's John Ramos shows us the creation that could one day be a lifesaver. Good morning. Each year at the White House Science Fair, President Obama welcomes some of the smartest kids in America, kids who aren't shy about asking questions. Have you ever had a brainstorming session yourself? I have had a couple of brainstorming sessions, but I didn't come up with anything this good. You know, I mean, I came up with things like, you know, health care. <laughs> And at this morning's fair, the Bay Area was well represented. Hi, Mr. President, I'm Ruchi. I'm from San Jose, California. Uh, Ruchi Pandya is a senior at Lynbrook High in San Jose. Using tiny carbon nanofibers, Ruchi created a thumbnail-sized sensor that may one day save a lot of lives. Um, I can actually just with one drop of blood um, tell you what a certain protein concentration in your bloodstream is. Uh, that's an indicator for cardiac arrest. Which means Rucci's invention could become an over-the-counter in-home tester that will provide up to 72 hours warning of an impending heart attack. It's actually 250 times more sensitive than what's conventionally used, um, and it's very inexpensive. And by simply changing which protein to search for, the detector could, for example, sniff out bioterrorist materials in an airport or food toxins in a supermarket. The possibilities are endless. Really proud of you. Thank you. Congratulations. So nice to meet you. Really nice to meet you. And it shows what can happen when kids get excited about science and technology. So I think that opportunity is really out there for um, young scientists and people to just go out there and pursue their scientific dreams for the betterment of mankind. John Ramos, KPIX 5. Wow, impressive. Ruchi says she hopes to attend either Stanford or Harvard in the fall and would eventually like to become a tech entrepreneur.